make it so we can move on. No. Oh, you're running for the layup. And that guy that passed the ball comes around for the shot. Let's make it look right. Score points. Go. yourself for me. Coach Hernandez, head coach of the Wilson Tigers. Got you. Let me start off by saying congrats for your success last year, coach of the year, DCI WA Charles State Final Four. After that Final Four semifinal loss to Gonzaga, what was your message to your players to get them prepared for this season? I mean, we played against a good team, took it to the Y. Uh, you know, Gonzaga, a really good program. Um, so for us to do that with the guys that we had, it's you know, we had some experience, but we didn't have the type of experience that we needed to get over the hump. Uh, so my message to them was that, you know, let's get back in the gym, get in the weight room, get prepared for the next season. And uh, I think we've done that far, so far. Um, some really good con contests and scrimmages and things um, going into the season. I'm excited to see what we look like. You know, we've got a really tough schedule. And... Uh, Hopefully capitalize off we did last year. Gotcha. What's this year team's theme? Like what's y'all motto, y'all MO? I think defense, man. That's the it's always my MO, but I think that they I mean we could guard the ball. We we guard the ball pretty well on the ball. And uh, we got people that do the fundamental things, taking charges and things like that. They switch it up on you a lot, rebound well. So motto this year is man, just play hard and play together. Got you. I haven't seen y'all play not one time this summer, didn't catch no scrimmages, but I always see y'all on my Twitter timeline, and you all are looking very explosive. I'm seeing a lot of dunks, a lot of oops. Just speak about the uh, you feel the athleticism you all present. I mean, we, pre we present a lot of athleticism. It starts with our point guard. Uh, he puts a lot of pressure on the defense. You know, I tell all my kids, attack the rim like you're going to dunk, even if you can't dunk. And uh, sometimes kids will just move out the way because the one thing I know that kids don't like is getting embarrassed. And, uh, so that's the way we attack the rim. Uh, no matter if you 4'11", or 5'8", or you 6'8", we try and attack the rim. Uh, so, you know, with the experience and the hard work that they put in the weight room, man, they look, they look exciting, man. You know, to see, you know, the dunks, the two points, some of the, even some of the layups that they're finishing above the rim, they look that's good, too. Saying. My timeline, I'm like, ooh, it looking looks good. real, looking real freakish. Do, uh, the Washington Post got y'all ranked number three. Can you all live up to the hype to that number three ranking? And is it any pressure? I don't think it's any pressure, man. We don't, we don't pay attention to that stuff. Uh, you know, it's exciting to be there. We're thankful, we're grateful for it. But you know, at the end of the day, it's where we end up, and that's what really matters to me. You know, you know, the kids all look at it and they say, some people gonna say we belong there, some people gonna say we don't. I know the kids. I believe they belong there because it just shows how much hard work they've been put in. Uh, but expectations, you know, I think we go in every season with them, but we never put too many expectations on them. You know, we go in, we do what we do. If we practice well enough, we'll come out with a victory. If we did it, we know we got work to do, which is kind of what happened last year. We had work to do. We took a loss to Rose in the regular season, and, you know, we had work to do. You know, it was on a on a 22 game win streak. And I think they got to the head. So I think it humbled them a lot. And I think now this group is a is, is experience, man. And that's sometimes that's the best thing for kids is experience. You can't beat experience and people that play together. We we added two kids and that's it. Everybody else is back. You know, and 
got a few additions that have always, they've always been around, so they know the kids, so gotcha. it's been easier. Speak about the two kids that you added. How did you get them to buy into your program coming from a WCAC school? I think, man, you know, um, me, uh, I took over four years ago. You know, I started to market my school to, I mean, both of them were VCPS products anyway, so it was easy. Um, day in high school, you know, at Francis, you know, kind of followed these games and just, you know, met with your parents and, and, you know, invited them to games all the time and said, you know, just come check out what we're doing. And so, you know, it can be done here. You know, it doesn't have to be done in the private school, but I always tell parents if you want to get a free education, they're going to offer you money, you can't turn it down. Gotcha. And so I think, you know, Jay's the kind of kid, you know, our city kids, they have to be allowed to play their game. And I think sometimes WCC can be controlled offenses. And sometimes I have more of a freelance offense, but I think he's going to be able to play his game. And, you know, I think by the looks of it, man, he's three level scorer. And, uh, and that's the exciting part about him. Hey, sophomore who really didn't, I mean, he didn't really play last year at all because of things off the court. But he's got some talent, man. I think he's finally getting it. Probably, man, I'll go on record and say maybe the best shooter in the area. But uh, he's, I mean, he got it. He's athletic too. And the sky's limit for him. You know, he's 6'6 now. Six, six, Jay's 6'4. Six, so we added that to what we already have 6'8, six, 6'8. Eight, six, eight. And then Allende. You know, Allende's probably more athletic than all of them. Gotcha. We're going to get back to that. Right, right. Good, good. Get back. Good. Good. Close out. Got to close out. You got to make sure there's non dribbles. It's not. Good. Get there. 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 I mean, Coach, how you doing? How you doing, how you Coach, doing? man? Uh, what are some of your uh, team goals this year? My team goals basically this year is to win the whole thing for real, for real. Um, not just to be stuck on just winning DCIAA. I think we need we can win states also. We got the team to do it. We had a team last year also. Came up a little short. This year, I think we return the seniors. I mean, return the players. Actually, I'm sorry. Yende Hawking, Ricky Lindo, Josiah Murable. Along with the new kids we have, uh, Jay Heath, uh, Dominguez Stevens, I feel like we got the keys right now to run through the city, run to get this state title, win all our games. Hopefully we can, you know, have a good record, push up from number three of the Washington Post to number one. Gotcha. Thank you, sir. No problem. Who's Mizzou Network? Who do I have right here? All right, Carlos Dunn. Carlos Dunn, you had a big showing against Gonzaga last year. I'm expecting big things out of you. What are you expecting out of yourself this year? I so, uh, I'm looking more to uh, contribute to the team more. Gotcha. Still stay as a team player. We got a lot of uh, got a lot of talent on the team, so I'm just gonna play my role. Gotcha. What, what are some of your team goals? Huh? What are some of the team goals? Team goals. Uh, we already we already built it uh, throughout the. The summer and stuff, so we looking forward to winning championship. Got you. One time before we get up, I heard just shout out Who's Mizzou Network for me. Shout out Who's Mizzou Network. Oh, who's Mizzou Network? Who do I have right here? Josiah Marble, class of 2018. Got you, Josiah Marble. You had a strong outing against Gonzaga last year in the uh, semifinal, state semifinal. Yes, sir. I'm expecting big things out of you this year. What are some of your team goals and individual goals? Uh, team goals: be able to play consistent defense, uh, be able to get up both ends of the floor. A lot of transition offensive plays. Uh, personal goals for me, average a double-double. Uh, be a great teammate, be a great leader on the team. That's pretty much it. Help my team you. get a What do you bring to the table here on the Wilson Tigers? Uh, bring a good inside presence, uh, offensive rebound, defensive rebounding, scoring on the paint. Uh, I've been working during the offseason. I've been working on um, my, my mid-range jumpers. So that's pretty much it. Gotcha. One time before we get up out of here, just shout out Who's Mizzou Network for me. Shout out Who's Mizzou Network. Hey, Coach T, how you doing? How you doing? Good. Uh, can you speak about some of your roles you have here at Wilson? Um, JV coach. Yeah, JV coach. We're on the social media here, train the guys. Uh, they just moved me to head assistant this year, so. Congratulations. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Expecting it to be a good year, man. Okay, so what can we be expecting out of the Wilson Tigers? Uh, it's a team that's going to come play hard and give people a show. That's what I'm hoping for. Gotcha. 
got you. Um, any under the radar players that we should uh, check out for? Not under the radar. Players, under the radar players. I think Chase Cook is. He's gonna be an underdog coming off the bench. He's gonna be an underdog coming off the bench. Got you. One time before we get up out of here, shout out Who's Mizzou Network. Who's Mizzou Network? Shout him out. Coach, how does it feel to be go from the hunters to the hunted? <laughs> Uh, you know, being hunted is a good thing. I think, you know, I don't, I don't think we're hunted by everybody. I think that uh, in the DCI double A, there's definitely a, a need. There's always a need for uh, Wilson to get past that hump, like get over the hump, man. And uh, I think now, you know, we've done it. You know, we've watched other teams do it, uh, and. It was important for us to take that shot, but it's definitely going to be interesting. We definitely going to hopefully we show up uh, for these big games. You know, it looks like it, but those can be deceiving. Gotcha. Uh, but it's definitely going to be it's going to be fun. Gotcha. Speak about your coaching staff you got here. I got good coaching staff, man. They, these guys are dedicated. I got trainers. I got X's and O's guys, and it's been fun with them. They've been with me for a while. Uh, my coach T, who David Johnson, who I brought on two years ago now. He's he's helped out a lot yeah. and uh, in a lot of different ways, not just basketball. You know, coaching staff is great. You know, we dedicated to it. They just kept going, kept going, kept going. And we here. Gotcha. You returning three of your top four schools from last year's team. You got a lot of experience from last year's team. Just give me some of your key players this year. Uh, key players from returning got Ricky Lindo, six eight guard. Who, you know, he can, he can fly a little bit, uh, uh, working on his, his jump shot, his 15 footers. And that's the... Speak about his elevation, like his, you know, his progress, his progression since you first got him. I mean, we got him in ninth grade. He came from one of our feeder schools, another DC public school kid. And uh, he was 5'11", maybe. And he was bony about 125. And, uh, you know, you could see that he was going to be good because he was long, but didn't know how good. So we decided that was going to be the first test. That was my first year head coach. And we decided that we were going to put some effort into somebody. And it uh, just happened to be then. We had that year like four or five coaches. We didn't have what we have now. And he, uh, the year after that, was 6'1", still timid. Didn't start playing until um, maybe end of the year and uh, he had hit some shots and was, you could see it was going to be good. That summer he went on and played with the district and they helped out a lot with him and gave him some more confidence, came back he was about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, like, oh, he was growing, growing, growing. And then when we got to September, he was 6'7". Like, man, what's going on? <laughs> so then we decided to put him on a, 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 a meal plan. And, uh, Gained about 45 to 50 pounds, and uh, it's been exciting to watch it. He works out probably, he has a free period, it's like he has like three or four free periods, so because he's smart, he's 3.8 Kim GPA. That's what's up. And um, so he works out like when kids are in school, he goes and works out weight room with, with a trainer, and then he goes to the gym and works out with another trainer, and he comes back to practice. And, uh, so he's one of the key players. Carlos Dunn had a big game against Gonzaga. Josiah had a big game against uh, Gonzaga. I'm expecting big things out of them. What are you expecting out of them this year? It's my silent assassins, man. My silent assassins. A lot of people, they don't get all the publicity. They don't get all that, but they do a lot of stuff for us. Uh, I see that. Come a long way. Carlos is always going to be. A lot of people don't know about him, you know, so it's like they don't think he can score the way he can score, but he definitely can score. He's opened some eyes. And, um, you know, he's definitely one of those kids that want to guard everybody, too. You know, um, definitely be putting them on everybody's best player between him and Jay and Allende. But it's going to be exciting, man. Yeah. Carlos and Josiah are definitely two kids that I'm expecting a lot from. A lot. Hold Last up. but not least, Allende. Speak about it. You say he's one of the most athletic kids on the team. Speak more about him. He's one of the most athletic kids in the city. Gotcha. And, and he's harnessed it now. Now he's, instead of jumping on fast breaks, he, he trying to dunk on you when we get in the regular game. Half course set. Half course set, he's coming down the lane. And uh, it's his growth, his jump shot, 15 footers. He showed it in the playoffs last year that he could stop, pull up, 
hit a three off coming off a pick. And so that's what he needed to do. And if he does it consistently, I don't know what people are going to do. Got you. And under the radar, breakout players you got expecting big things out of out of uh, this season for you? I'm expecting under the radar. Uh, like we don't know nothing about you yeah. expecting them to have a, a key contribution to your team. Uh, Will, Will Boomer. Six, about six, seven and a half, about 220. A lot of people don't know anything about him, but he's the most fundamentally sound kid in the city. I just saw him. I just saw him myself. And I know exactly what you mean. He, he, you feel me? He takes charges. He takes, I mean, he rebounds, he blocks shots, he posts up, he puts people into the basket. And so, you know, it's just, there's a lot of under the radar people that we talk about, but he would definitely be the one that I expect a lot of. Got you. So just uh just break down your uh, season goals before we just get up out of here. I ain't gonna hold you too much longer. Just break down some of this uh, season and team goals. So my, our goal, one of our goals is to win the DCIAA again. That's the first goal is to make sure that we, you know, take care of business doing that. It's not gonna be easy, some tough teams. Definitely hundred in the DCIAA. And DC is getting better, as I said last year. Um, you know, with, with Roosevelt, McKinley Tech, uh, Dunbar. Those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head that are returning guys that actually, you know, did some things last year. And then there's teams who we don't even know about. Yet. So, man, sometimes, man, it's like, what goals do we have? You know, I try to, DCIAA is one, DCSAA is the other. Um, and also to compete with some of the higher level teams. And that's, that's key for us because, again, I just want to put them on a platform where they can get seen. No matter D1, D2, D3, NAIA, JUCO, prep school, whatever, man. Just somebody to take notice on that. Up in the upper Northwest, we, we, we're doing some things. We got to call it spoiled. <laughs> they call it spoiled, but we not. We work hard for a lot, man, a lot. Man. We'll just have to wait and see. Got but you. We'll definitely be seeing some. Things. Got you. So if we interested in seeing the number three blank Wilson Tigers, where can we catch all the action at? We catch us this Friday uh, in the um, more than basketball uh, tip off play uh, Rock Creek Christian at 8:40. Shout, mm -hmm. Shout out to Reza. What time? 8:40 at Got Archbishop you. Carroll. Got you. Got you. Once again, coach. Game. Thank you for allowing me to come up here talk to you while you at practice. There's one time before we get up out of here. Just shout out Who's Mizzou Network for me. Shout out to Who's Mizzou Network, man. Doing really good things in the city and in the area. Thank you. We live on Who's Mizzou Network. Who do I have? Jay He, Combo Gun, 6'3, class of 2019, Woodrow Wilson High School. Got you. So you one of the key transfers here at uh, Woodrow Wilson High School. Mm -hmm. Speak about what you bring to the table. Uh, I can score, play D, get everybody involved. Um, a leader. Just basically run the team. Makes everything good. What are some uh, team goals this year and some individual goals this year? Um, team goals, win the states, want everything around here. We go to Vegas this year, like a national tournament, trying to win that. Um, individual goals, trying to be player of the year. Uh, basically win the championship for us. Gotcha. What can we be expecting out of the Woodrow Wilson Tigers this year? Um, a lot of wins, win the championship. Come uh, to the game and see. Got you. One time for get up here, just shout out Who's Mizzou Network. Who's Mizzou Network? Well, who's Mizzou Network? Who do I have right here? Domingo Stevens. Nice to meet you, Domingo Stevens. One of the key additions to the Woodrow Wilson Tigers. Speak about what you bring to the table. Uh, my major strengths is scoring on offense and being able to get rebounds because of my length and my athleticism. I use that all over the table. Gotcha. What are some of your team goals and personal individual goals? Team goals, win the DCIAA championship again. And personal goals, probably play better on defense. Got you. Uh, what can we be expecting from the Woodrow Wilson Tigers? Uh, a lot of dunks this year. <laughs> Got you. One time before we get up out of here, shout out Who's Mizzou Network. Shout out Who's Mizzou Network. Who's Mizzou Network? Who do I have right here? Uh, Ricky Lindo Jr., Wilson Goff. Got you. B1 athlete. B1 recruit. Speak about your, uh, the current offers you got on the table that you know right off uh, your head. Uh, I know the recent ones, UPenn, then Long Beach and Bucknell, then a lot of Ivy League schools gotcha. and mid-majors. Gotcha. What could we be uh, expecting out of Ricky Lindo this year? Uh, the team or just in general? The team. And so, are right, we gonna start like this? What are some of your team goals and your individual goals? Oh, team goals, uh, repeat again. 
defend our championship, East Side of LA, and win states this year. Gotcha. And some of your individual goals? My individual goals, you know, get as much exposure as I can. Get make sure all the high majors know who my name is, and just get more offers, and help gotcha. help win for the team. Got you. What do what do Ricky Lindo Jr. bring to the table to the Wilson Tigers? I bring everything: defense, offense, rebounding, blocks, scoring, dunks, all of that. Got gotcha. you. How you feel about your number three rankings going into the season? I feel really good. You know, I think that's a great spot for us. You the feel any pressure? Line. Nah, nah, no pressure at all. Just gotta make sure we do what we gotta do every night. Got you. And what could we be expecting out of Wilson Tigers again? Today? No, nah, throughout the year. Oh, throughout the year, just expect wins and a lot of. A lot of high expectations. Got you. One time before we get up out of here, just shout out Who's Mizzou Network for me. Who's Mizzou Network? Who have on Who's Mizzou Network? Who do I have right here? I am the Hakeem. Got you. Y'all got the number three rankings in the post. Do you feel any pressure? I mean, yeah. I think we should have been number one in my opinion. I think we the best. And we can go against anybody because we got a lot of time on the team this year. Got you. What are some of your team goals and individual goals this year? Team goals, you know, looking to repeat as DCIAA champs. Get the state championships my senior year, you know. Win all the tournaments that we in, win everything. And my personal goal is, you know, just be a leader on the court, off the court, and lead my team to victory. Yeah. So, you, like you said, y'all are the defending BCIAA champions, and you all have that bulls on, on your back. So, how how you approaching that? How you approaching uh, the season with the bulls out? We just taking it one game at a time, you know. Just because we won last year, nobody going to take it easy on us. I mean, we won last year. We won defend that, of course, and yeah, gotcha. play regular. Gotcha. This year, what can we be expecting out of Allende and the Wilson Tigers? Uh, champions, everything, states, DCIAA, anybody we play, we try and win by 20. Gotcha. One time before we get up out here, just shout out Who's Mizzou Network for me. Who's Mizzou Network.